Hello friends, uh, greetings from the Global Academy of Medical Education. I am Dr. Vaibhav Said. Today I shall be taking up a short video on an important topic of uh, headache. From there I shall be teaching about the calcitonin gene related peptide. That is a very hot topic and it can be a potential question for your exam this year. So headache as we go by it is divided into two broad categories. One is the primary headache and another is the secondary headache. The primary headache and the secondary headache. The secondary headache is basically the dangerous headache. Why it is called as a dangerous headache? Because the cause can be sinister. You need to treat the secondary headache very promptly. Otherwise, it may lead to the death of the patient. Whereas on the other hand, primary headache, these are not sinister headache. But these patients come to your OPD clinic often. They come to you for treatment. They come to you regularly, month-wise. So what are the primary headaches? Primary headache are basically three types. Tension type headache, trigeminal autonomic cephalgias, and migraine. A topic of discussion is today one of the preventive therapies of migraine, which are the newer drugs that have come in migraine, which is the CGRP antagonists. We are going to come to that. Before reading about the CGRP antagonists, Let's first know about the pathogenesis of migraine. What actually is the pathogenesis of migraine? Previously, migraine was thought to be a vascular headache. But slowly and steadily, this concept is now changing. Now, the migraine is basically considered to be a disease which involves two chemicals one of them is CGRP which is the topic of discussion today and the other is 5-HT the other name of 5-HT is serotonin so we have drugs that act through the serotonin pathway and control the migraine but today's topic of discussion is on CGRP so what actually CGRP does? It is calcitonin gene related peptide. So they act on the trigeminal nerve endings. They act on the trigeminal nerve endings and cause migraine. So, this pathophysiology has been now translated into pharmaceutical benefits. They have been translated into the, the, the how the drugs have now been created that act on these CGRP so that the patient can get benefit. So, these are drugs that have newly come up. So, they form an important question for you in the exam. So CGRP, firstly, you have, uh, firstly, you need to know whom to treat migraine. Who are the candidates whom you treat migraine? First and foremost, you will treat the patient, those who come with acute migraine. That means those who come with acute migraine, they are being treated. Although the primary treatment for acute migraine is basically NSAIDs, right? But there are certain CGRP analogs that are being used for treatment of acute attack of migraine. CGRP, these are also known as G-PANS. They are also known as G-PANS. So you need to know that CGRP analogs are known as G-PANS. Now some of the CGRP analogs that are being used orally for acute treatment of migraine are Remegipant and Progipant. So these are the two drugs that are used number one orally and number two for acute attack of migraine. Right? Our focus of discussion today is on chronic migraine. So how CGRP analogs have brought revolution in the treatment of 
chronic migraine that we need to know so first of all you need to know what is a chronic migraine right so in chronic migraine you need to remember two numbers one is 15 and the other is 8 i call it a rule of 15 and 8 so you need to have more than 15 days of headache per month out of which 8 days of headache should fulfill the criteria for migraine so if you remember the rule of 15 8 that's how you can say what is chronic migraine so they should have headache on more than 15 days per month out of which 8 days should be migrainous type of headache right so among other medications that we use for chronic migraine the focus of discussion today is on CGRP antagonists, right? So, as I mentioned in acute migraine, acute migraine, we have the Rimejipan and the Ubrojipan. In chronic migraine, we have the MAPS. We have the monoclonal antibodies. So, we have the monoclonal antibodies acting against the CGRP. Now it is divided into two types. One which acts on the receptor and one which acts on the peptide. Right? The one which acts on the receptor is Erenimab. Right? The one which acts on the receptor is Erenimab. And the one which acts on the peptides, one of them is galcanizumab, frimanizumab, eptinizumab. So, this is the important difference that you need to remember, out of which the potential question that can be asked is erenumab. Erenumab can be the potential question which can be asked about its mechanism of action. First, it is a CG, it is a monoclonal antibody. Second, it is a CGRP receptor antagonist. So you need to remember this part. Now, of the important side effects that you need to remember is these group of drugs have an important side effect that is known as nasopharyngitis that is known as nasopharyngitis this same side effect you also see with dpp4 inhibitors right so for more such discussions please log into the game app thank you